Uh, this post expands on the Flight Sim Sim Connect project and proposal uh, through the ATAC at 42416. Drawing on computer pilot here, how to fly like a Thunderbird, and of course Canadian snowbirds use these positions, which we have stored in an access database. So the Sim Connect project takes these pre stored formations and uh, here, uh, borrowed from the snowbird's own site. Plus there's a team select and an individual station select we can put in mapped to Flight Sim 10 through the Sim Connect layer. So here in the overhead mode we see a preview of some of the various positions and these are being read out of an access database and sent uh, directly to the simulation. So if there's no wingman to fill a various station that an AI aircraft will fill in and fly stations based on the lead. So this is a view of the formation and only number one is actually being flown at this time. Um, everything else is an AI aircraft uh, keeping station uh, seven off of three, off of one or whatever. So you can see it's a fairly realistic presentation, uh, both from the uh, air view and here the tower view. And this would be the uh, Concord formation going by the Moose Jaw Tower. So we can switch to the view from in the cockpit, uh, here map line to stern by swapping the uh, tail to the lead position. And these again are all uh, SimConnect AI driven aircraft uh, taking their lead from the user aircraft. So we'll go to another view and this is the Card 9 formation uh, pulling up for return over the base and uh, this is the tower view of Card 9 in formation and then uh, outside uh, lock spot view of the same and also we have for each object the ability to do uh, smoke on and smoke off so here's the formation with the smoke trailing.